Hi there, um, this is Vanessa of Bianco. Um, some of you are uh, wanting to, to, for me to do a video of this bracelet. Um, some of you have asked me to do other videos, but I'm just starting now. Okay, um, some of you are getting this bracelet really easily and others of you are not. Um, so I'm doing this for you guys. Okay, um, so first question is um, that I got was, um, how much fabric? I I really am only using one inch strips of the jersey fabric and um, it is um, the width of the jersey fabric is 60 so it's one inch by 60 um, so you really only need three inches width of um, or length I guess of this um, fabric you only need to ask for three inches um, so it would be really minimal to make this okay what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our strips um, and we're going to take our two edges here our two ends okay and we're going to take scissors and this is my first time doing this so uh, bear with me if I say a lot of ums okay notice how I made the slit right here um, next one we're going to do the same thing over here we don't need to be too precise not needing to be too precise okay so now I have my two ends um, of my jersey fabric let me move this over there we go and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take one side my right hand side and my left hand side put, put my right hand side underneath my left hand side so that the slits align okay and because I put it underneath I'm going to take this end of the fabric um, and go on top okay of my right hand side this will make sure that you get a um, that you get a knot this is why I don't do video stuff because my daughter's in the background uh, singing or doing something she gets her voice from me um, okay this creates a little bit of a knot okay you just kind of see that knot right there okay um, next what we're going to do is we're going to do that for all of the strips that you need if you do a four finger um, bracelet you'll need more strips you'll need three strips three to four strips if you're doing a two finger one you only need um, I would say probably at the most two um, depending on how big your wrists are okay um, I'm going to put, take my, one of my tails and put it in my hand. Why is this? Let me see. Oops, that's too close. Okay. Um, we're going to put this in right here uh, in my hand. So I'm going to take the rest of the strip and I'm going to um, weave it behind my pointer, in front of my middle, behind my ring, and in front of my pinky. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around my pinky in front of my ring, behind my middle, and in front of my pointer. Okay, this is for the forefinger. Now you still have, this is kind of loose, right? And your um, pointer is just the only thing that's behind it is the tail. So you're going to go around, big loop, and in front, okay? And let that just sit there, okay? Now, next step is to just take underneath, your underneath, um, this thing, <laughs> loop, and go to the top, go to the top, go to the top, and now you have your first set of loops, okay? Next, hey, someone went to the bathroom, yay! Okay, next, we're going to go around again. Okay, loop it around and you're going to do it again. Okay, do it again, do it again, and again. Okay, do you see what we're doing here? Now you're going to go around, make sure those go back down, go around again. Okay, that's for the four finger loop. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the two finger one and then you guys can figure out the three finger one on your own. Okay. Two finger. I still like to hold it with my thumb so that my tail doesn't go anywhere. 
go behind my ring, in front of the pinky, behind the pinky, in front of the ring, and then back loop around both of them. Okay? Now, because I want it to be kind of, of a tighter, um, a tighter braid, I will hold my fingers together and I will loop over. Yeah. Oh, uh, I gotta take a pause, people, because I gotta wipe my daughter's bottom. Hold on.